Hey guys, so today I want to show you something really, really cool and pretty special and super unusual in the classic car world. And no, it is not my Bernie's Mountain Dog Blaze. It has to do with this, the 1987 Porsche 911 project car. It's back from the shop after like eight months. They've done a ton of work to it. But what I really want to focus on is something on the inside because this is a super cool collector car thing that if you're into old vehicles of any kind, you should probably be aware of, especially old Porsches. Now, on the inside of this car, we've got a few terrible aftermarket accessories such as this just horrific, I don't know, Game Boy style steering wheel. But we also had a really crappy aftermarket head unit. And this is a big problem with um, vehicles of like the 70s and 80s. Uh, you know, a lot of people replace the original factory radios with ones that kind of look like they uh, belong in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. And this car was no exception. So what we bought and had installed was this radio. Now this looks like a radio from a 1980s Porsche 911. It's very retro looking. It's got both volume and tune knobs. It says Porsche on the top because this radio is sold and manufactured through the Porsche Classics division, which is the in-house Porsche, basically classic car support network. But this radio is not a vintage radio. It's actually a very modern high-tech radio that is meant to look old school and retro. And it does some really incredible stuff. And it's actually pretty decent value as well. So when you turn the key to start it up, you get the Porsche Crest. And of course they are allowed to use the genuine Porsche Crest because this is not some JVC unit. It's actually manufactured by Porsche, which I just absolutely love. And the UI system is very similar to what you get in a new 911. It's very similar to what you get in any other Porsche car, which is phenomenal. So let's go over some of the functions. We've got hard buttons on the left and the right side of the unit. Um, and if we click home, for example, you can see that in fact, the overall button layout and overall design is quite similar to that of like a new 911. Now it does the usual stuff you'd expect out of a radio. So for example, it has a tuner with both AM, FM, and XM radio capability. Uh, you also have presets, of course. Uh, but media is kind of cool, so it's got Bluetooth connectivity. You can uh, stream all your typical podcast music that you would want to through Bluetooth. But my favorite feature is down here. It came included with two USB ports and an auxiliary port, which our shop had installed down here. Um, and if you plug into the USB port that says phone, not only are you gonna be able to charge your device, but it's fully equipped with phone connectivity, and in this case, Apple CarPlay. So if we click on the screen there, you can see it's genuinely an Apple CarPlay system like you'd expect out of any other modern day vehicle, just really, really, really tiny. So take a look at this. It's maybe, maybe a three inch screen. It's about the same size as my, uh, as my pointer finger here, but it does everything that any other Apple CarPlay would do. So you can stream Apple Maps, Google Maps, you can, um, play your music, right? Just like you would <laughs> on a brand new modern Porsche. It's just really, really tiny, but of course, a full touchscreen display. It even does Siri capability, which I think is phenomenal. Now, uh, the actual Bluetooth pickup we installed over here on the steering wheel column. But the great thing about this is not only does it look phenomenal, it looks vintage and it works really, really well. Other things that this radio system does, of course you connect your phone. Uh, you can also uh, get this vehicle with navigation. So in this case, we don't actually have the navigation chip installed, but if you wanted to have the map chip installed, it will do full navigation. And there's a little GPS, little GPS pickup over here on the left side of the steering column. But overall, I've just been blown away with the quality of this radio. Uh, you can also just set it to like the tune screen so it looks kind of vintage too, um, as it would maybe in the 1970s. And I love that it's manufactured by Porsche, which means it's probably gonna last the life of the car. Now price-wise, it really isn't all that crazy compared to what you might expect a genuine Porsche part to cost. I believe this one you can buy for about $1,190, which 
isn't all that insane and they do various different styles that fit different models so you can get one of these for example for like a 996 911 or for older models as well and they look a little different based on the unit but they're designed to fit cleanly into the dashboard without much cutting they're designed to integrate with the original vehicle electronics and it's just a phenomenal piece of tech that i wanted to make you aware of and do a little video about well, as always, this has been Tommy with the Fastlane Car. Check out TFL Car and TFL Classics for the latest and greatest in modern and vintage retro tech.